The Dwarf People, a terrifying prehistoric civilization you've never heard of. The study of ancient civilizations is a fascinating endeavor, revealing the ingenuity, complexity, and cultural richness of our human ancestors. While well-known ancient civilizations such as Egypt, Mesopotamia, and the Indus Valley have captivated our collective imagination for centuries, there are still many lesser-known societies whose existence remains shrouded in mystery. One such enigmatic civilization is that of the Dwarf People, a prehistoric society rumored to have once inhabited a remote and inhospitable corner of the world. In this video, we will delve into the legends, archaeological findings, and theories surrounding this terrifying and largely unknown prehistoric civilization. The Legend of the Dwarf People The legend of the dwarf people originates from various indigenous cultures scattered across the globe, each of which shares strikingly similar tales of a race of small-statured beings with a penchant for malevolence and mischief. These creatures, often described as standing no taller than a child, are said to possess a range of supernatural powers, such as the ability to control the elements, shapeshift, or even cause illness and death. In some indigenous traditions, the dwarf people are considered the remnants of an ancient civilization that predates modern human societies. According to these myths, the dwarf people were once a highly advanced and powerful race, capable of harnessing the forces of nature to create awe-inspiring monuments and cities. However, as their power grew, so did their hubris, and they soon became corrupted by their own ambition and cruelty. Eventually, their society crumbled, leaving behind only a few scattered survivors who retreated into the shadows, where they continue to wield their dark powers and plot their revenge on humanity. Archaeological Evidence while the existence of a prehistoric civilization of dwarf people may seem like the stuff of fantasy, there have been several archaeological discoveries that lend credence to the legends. Over the years, numerous ancient sites have been unearthed, which appear to have been designed and constructed to accommodate individuals of small stature. One such site is the ancient city of Cappadocia in modern-day Turkey, a complex network of underground tunnels, chambers, and dwellings carved into the soft volcanic rock. The architecture of Cappadocia suggests that its inhabitants were significantly smaller than the average human, with doorways, passages, and living spaces seemingly tailored to individuals standing around four feet tall. Similarly, in South America, the ancient ruins of Tiwanaku in Bolivia have yielded evidence of doorways and passages designed for people of diminutive stature. Other archaeological findings, such as miniature tools, weapons, and pottery, have been discovered across the globe, further fueling speculation about the existence of a prehistoric civilization of dwarf people. However, despite these tantalizing clues, definitive proof of the dwarf people's existence remains elusive, and many scholars remain skeptical about the interpretation of these findings. Alternative Theories while the idea of a terrifying prehistoric civilization of dwarf people is undoubtedly fascinating, it is essential to consider alternative explanations for the archaeological evidence. One possibility is that the small-statured architecture and artifacts are the result of a cultural preference for modesty and simplicity, rather than an indication of the inhabitants' physical size. Another theory posits that the dwarf people were not a distinct civilization, but rather a genetically isolated population of humans who, due to environmental factors or inbreeding, exhibited a high incidence of dwarfism. This would explain the prevalence of small-statured individuals in the archaeological record, as well as the widespread legends of diminutive beings with supernatural powers. In many cultures, Physical anomalies were often ascribed to magical or divine origins, and it is possible that the dwarf people were simply a misunderstood group of individuals who became the subject of myth and legend over time. Still, others argue that the dwarf people may have been an entirely separate species of hominid, similar to Homo floresiensis, the so-called hobbit discovered on the Indonesian island of Flores. This small-statured species, which stood just over three feet tall, 
is believed to have coexisted with modern humans for thousands of years, potentially giving rise to the legends of dwarf people. However, as the remains of Homo floresiensis have only been found in one location, this theory is still the subject of debate among paleoanthropologists. The Psychological and Cultural Roots of the Dwarf People Myth In addition to the archaeological and biological theories surrounding the dwarf people, it is essential to consider the psychological and cultural factors that may have contributed to the development of these legends. Throughout history, humans have shown a fascination with the idea of the other, creatures or beings that are simultaneously similar to us and yet fundamentally different. This fascination often manifests in the form of myths and legends that explore themes of duality, power, and the unknown. The concept of a prehistoric civilization of small-statured beings with supernatural abilities may have served as a way for early human societies to make sense of their world and the forces that governed it. By attributing natural phenomena, such as earthquakes, floods, or disease, to the machinations of the dwarf people, ancient cultures may have been able to rationalize their fears and anxieties in the face of an unpredictable and often hostile environment. Moreover, the legends of the dwarf people may have served as cautionary tales, warning of the dangers of hubris and unchecked ambition. By portraying the dwarf people as a once powerful civilization brought low by their own greed and malice, these myths may have functioned as morality tales, reinforcing the importance of humility, cooperation, and respect for the natural world. Conclusion The legend of the dwarf people, a terrifying prehistoric civilization shrouded in mystery, continues to captivate and intrigue scholars, archaeologists, and enthusiasts alike. While definitive proof of their existence remains elusive, the tantalizing archaeological evidence and the striking similarities between the legends of disparate cultures suggest that there may be more to these stories than mere fantasy. As we continue to unravel the secrets of our ancient past, we must remain open to the possibility that our ancestors' world was far more complex and diverse than we could have ever imagined. Whether the dwarf people were a distinct civilization, a genetically isolated population of humans, or simply the product of our collective imagination, their legend serves as a potent reminder of the power of myth and the enduring allure of the unknown.